Hi and welcome to week 21 of U.S. history. So this week uh, we're going to venture into the intricate folds of U.S. history, examining the role of journalists and novelists in the progressive movement, the strategic tactics behind the passage of the 19th Amendment, Theodore Roosevelt's influence on the federal slash private business relationship, and a comparative analysis of Roosevelt, Taft, and Wilson's policy. So, to understand the progressive movement, we must acknowledge the significant role played by journalists and novelists. Muckcrackers like Upton Sinclair, Ida Tarbo, and Lincoln Stephens exposed the social and economic injustices of the time. Their investigative reporting and impactful novel novels brought public attention to issues <coughs> excuse me, such as corruption, unsafe working conditions, and monopolistic practices, fueling the momentum for progressive reforms. Their works prompted public outcry and laid the groundwork for legislative changes that aimed to address the pressing concerns of the era. Shifting focus to the suffrage movement, reform leaders utilized various tactics to secure the passage of the 19th Amendment, granting women the right to vote. Activists like Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Stanton engaged in tireless advocacy and civil disobedience. The strategies included lobbying, public speaking, and organizing suffrage parades, all contributing to a groundswell of support for the amendment. Persistence and resilience of these reforms uh, and these reform leaders ultimately culminated in the historic in the historic ratification of the Nineteenth Amendment in nineteen twenty. Then we'll examine Theodore Roosevelt's impactful influence on the evolving relationship between the federal government and private business. As the twenty sixth president, Roosevelt embraced a quote unquote square deal approach advocating for fair business practices, consumer protection, and conservation. Roosevelt's antitrust initiatives, such as the dissolution of monopolies like Standard Oil, marked a departure from free market policies, signaling a more assertive role for the federal government in regulating business activities. Moving forward, we're going to compare and contrast the policies of Roosevelt, Taft, and Wilson. While Roosevelt focused on trust busting and conservation, Taft pursued a more cautious approach, emphasizing antitrust laws and tariff reforms. Woodrow Wilson, on the other hand, championed the new freedom platform, advocating for stronger antitrust measures, tariff reductions, and banking reforms. Each president left a unique imprint on the progressive era, contributing to the ongoing transformation of American society and government. Lastly, we're going to delve into Woodrow Wilson's efforts to regulate the economy. Wilson's presidency witnessed the implementation of significant reforms, including the establishment of the Federal Reserve System and the Federal Trade Commission. These measures aim to ensure economic stability regulate business practices, and prevent unfair competition. Wilson's commitment to, pro to progressive ideals shaped the economic landscape, leaving a lasting impact on the trajectory of the United States. So, I want to thank you, and I look forward to seeing you all next week, this week. Thank you.